With the RLCS season closing out last week, SSG ended up making top 8 which was a pretty good result considering just how insane the competition is at Worlds nowadays. LJ especially was going off as usual, and he had several crazy shots make the top 5 goals from each day. Well I'm back home now and I hit up LJ to run some games. And we ended up running into some of the NA upcoming players. So let's see how many wins we can get, hope you guys enjoy. Alright we got Kofer and Tok, they are solo queue. Tok obviously is one of the, one of the prodigies, upcoming players, Kofer as well. He's gonna fake this because I'm off the ceiling. He's just trying to wait for a good opportunity. Ooh. Oh, the greatest stuff from talk here. I'm gonna try and stay close. Looks like LJ might be able to take this after this touch. And sit behind here. Both these players are very, very aggressive in twos. I'm fully expecting a very, very fast game. Just fake. Sit behind here. Good challenge. Good demo. That's actually fine though because I'm going to be back. I do a spawn on the left. Just gives me time. Pop this over. I don't really want to shoot this because they're both ready for a shot. I'm going to try and place this in a spot where I can follow it up. And go for super awkward. Over 50 here. Oh. Should be fine. I don't know why I flipped there. I would have been fine just going back, but let's see what Kofor does. Let's let him go for this. Big flick over. Try to get a demo. Is that in? It's not. Oh my god. What a save. Trying to disrupt him on the wall here. Stay close. It's actually perfect because Elder gets the possession. I hope he gets a, a bump here. Does he have it? He does have it. My bad. Over two. Talk super awkward. I better just shoot it. Might just be in. Nice. Let's go. Huge. Good control off the side wall there. I, both of us did double command that, but like as long as someone has control, we should be okay. I'm gonna try and pitch this in. Ah, that's not the best. I was gonna leave this. Goes across. Good fake. I'm expecting. Okay, you know what? He's gonna leave that for me. I like that. Should be LJ first. Try and bump talk if he stays on the ground. He doesn't stay on the ground though. I do get bumped, but Cover's gonna be waiting patiently here. I'm expecting talk to just go. Will he get in the way enough that he can go again? It's good control. Talk's gonna go for a flick here. Stay with us here. I bump him. It's a good challenge from LJ as well. This left mid should spawn for him. Looks like he has boost anyway, though. Let him go for this. I don't know how I get demoed on those. It's so weird. Like, he's not fully supersonic. I guess he is. He's fast enough, but doesn't feel like he should be. Just stay close and be annoying. I think LJ just got that boost. I'm going to be like a little bit patient here. Goes behind me. It's okay though. I'm going to bump talk as much as I can to get uh, LJ some room. And I'm going to place it for some boost. I need pads really badly. Oh, it's going to be a goal. Never mind. I don't need anything. You know what? LJ can just carry me. <laughs> that was a really good play though. I wanted to cover as much of the goal as I could. And LJ had a lot of room on the side there. Should be good. He might chase this down. Yeah, there it is. Doesn't get the double though. As long as he doesn't get bumped, this should be fine for us. I'll let Talk go for this. Take this back. Got so much time. I don't need to actually like, force the issue here. That's crazy. Like, there's just absolutely zero respect. I, I don't see anybody pre jumping. Like, I should just fake that. I can't believe he goes for that. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. All good. Do one more. We could try. A little bit careful here. It's over. Wow, what a 50. I don't even think it was a 50. He just like went low with it, pinched it back corner. All right. They got two goals back, but it's fine. I haven't done too much this game. I've been trying to just, you know, fill gaps for LJ where I can. 
I was fully expecting another kickoff strat. That's a little dangerous. Why well, is just open? Why was that open? <laughs> I think they bumped each other or something. I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, let's go for normal kickoff here. They might go for a bump. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, little little sneaky guys. Can't pull a fast one on me. I'm almost 30 years old. My IQ is just my my brain fully developed. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. We're we're we're, we're uh we're, we've seen that play a million times. I'm gonna let Kofor go for a challenge here. Might be just free. It is. Let's go. You know, I I just uh I just seen it all, man. People uh, people always go for that kickoff strat when they're down one goal and there's only like less than a minute left. Okay. I <laughs> Didn't expect them to try it again, but I guess I should have expected it. So maybe I haven't seen everything. Should be good. Well, I'll just stay with this. Go for a bump on me. That just in. You missed. Should be the last few seconds here. Hopefully it's not a goal. And they don't go for another kickoff strap. There it is. Not too bad. That's two players that are technically like kind of on the radar for a lot of teams. Uh, obviously, LJ just carried me, but I feel like I played pretty well, covered a lot of things. And l hey, listen, I mean, there's only so much carrying you can do in Rocket League. I feel like this game does require a lot of team plays. It's why it's one of the most frustrating games in the world, too. All right, we got them again. Uh, and what I mean frustrating, what I mean by frustrating is like the fact that this game requires a lot of team play. Um, you require your teammate to be in a, a lot of good positions and um, cover as many things as you can. Um, but unfortunately, this game, you know, especially without comms in solo queue, um, is going to be very difficult. Kofor should have this for free. Get behind LJ here. It's good. It's fine. Hawks is trying to keep pressure in the corner, but there isn't really a threat there. Good pop around. Nice demo. He does jump. Okay, I should have expected that. Are we okay? Both of us are fully boosted up here, so. Okay. Just gonna pop it around. Around one. Ah, that's my bad. I should have just left it for him. I was trying to pop that like like dribble off to the side. Talk does go immediately. This one I'm fully expecting is just fully aggressive plays. That's in. I thought uh, LJ might have been able to go to the backboard, but that was a tough dunk because, yeah, he was right behind me. He did decide not to aerial for that. I feel like he could have maybe went. He was full boost. Tried for the squishy save, though. I respect that. I'm going to see if I can cheat up pretty close. It's off to the side. It should be LJ first. And he should have this boost and ball. It's a great flick. He might beat me here. I shouldn't have went. But LJ's full boost. Should be totally fine. Off corner. Okay, it's high. No way. I knew that was happening too, and I just didn't adjust for it. I should have uh, probably stayed with the ball on top of it. Should be all right. He misses. It's actually going to work just fine for them. Yeah, Kofor is really aggressive with his challenges. Good flick. I'll wait for a talk here. Get this over to LJ. It's a good shot. But I feel like maybe a pass could have been really good there. Pop this up over talk. Good try on the double. This could be good for us. He's going to go for it again, but it's probably going to be a throwaway. Okay, that's fine. To be LJ first. I think Talk went for that just in case. Uh, he jumped like that just because he thought like immediate shot would come out. Could have actually been a potential shot. It's just like hard to see if it's going to work out. Nice touch. He's going to probably go for a flip reset. It's fine. 
Just back out here. Oh, they both got it. All right, I'm going to sit behind LJ. He's got full, full boost and control of the ball. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's play for the 50s. I feel like that was pretty good for me. It was a little aggressive, a little scary, but it's, that's 2v2 for you. Got to avoid getting demoed here. I got to avoid getting... Yeah, it's just in. I don't think there's any way I get back to that. Even if I, like, zap dash, I think it was still in. The demo's tragic. It's fine. He's going to have it. To be LJ first. Oh. Should be fine. LJ should have control of this. I'm going to go for the mid boost here. Over one. Not a great touch for me. Neither is that though. Ah, oh, he's going to be in trouble. Oh, it's good. They it pop up. Nice. It's super strong. It's going to be hard for them to get a good touch. Throws it across. Talk actually pre jumps, but it doesn't go well. LJ's with it. They can stay with this, maybe? Off the corner. I can't follow this, unfortunately. Not yet. Talk pre jumps again. Fine. Should be him first. He does get bumped off the ball a bit, though. Oh, it hits LJ. No. The boost probably won't spawn for him for a while. I knew he was doing that, too. I tried to go around him, but didn't quite do it. Let's see if uh, Kofor stays controlled here. Maybe a bump? Did I bump him? No. I think talk to get back so fast. Should be LJ in the corner here. I probably could have just shot it. But I'm a little bit worried about doing that because a lot of people, what they'll do now is they'll um they'll actually fake the the turn and then go around the player who's demoing. That's off. I'm trying to bump him here. It's going to be out of time, though. Uh, game two does go to them. Let's see if uh, we get them again for the third game. Is that pre-jump? Oh, my goodness. Let me touch here. No, it's not in. Didn't matter though, we were down two. Let's move over to the next one. Okay, unfortunately we didn't get them uh, again, but we got Psy and PLV. Not exactly sure who these players are, but we'll have to see how they are. I'll just jump for this, get in the way. Should be LJ for full control. I got his challenge though. It's a good demo, but LJ should be there. Nice 50 across. It's one on the right, so this should be good for us. Also, I'm loving Driftwoods in ranked. It's been, it's been really enjoyable. Get behind here. It's not great because it actually goes right to him, but that's a good follow up. I never know what to do there because I don't really want to like. I sh maybe it's just fake. This should be a double chance for him. Should be just in. Beautiful. We have lots of space there. Yeah, I don't really know what to do in those situations where I'm trying to like defend the air dribble because the other player is falling up right in mid. And in that situation, I don't really want to give it right back to the player who's following it up, but you always end up doing that if you touch it. But also, you don't want to fake out the opponent, your teammate, in uh, like, you know, no comms, because you could call like, "Oh, I'm not going for it" or whatever. Oh, I think I pinched it with LJ. I don't think he was saving it though. I might have been able to get it out. Yeah, I think he, I think he got like a pogo shot that was like a little bit further than LJ expected. Good pinch. It's gonna, gonna be uh, them to take the ball though. Good follow up. Pop up the side here. Oh my god, that guy did go. I was like, he's gonna go, isn't he? I, I don't know why I like, don't expect it. Because it is like really risky and it's like doesn't really pay off a lot. Maybe across. LJ should be here first. It's a tough first touch, but he does make it work. I didn't get the boost. It's actually the main thing I wanted. 
If I get the boost there, they're both going to be very, very low. That's actually a great demo, though. That's on the player who had boost. I don't think I can make it, though. I don't want to touch that out because they're following it. You see that one guy was pushing up for mid, and I don't want him to, like, cut it off. I'll take this boost. It's going to be over. Probably a return clear as well. It's a good touch. My bad. Oh, wow. That is such a weird turn of events. I'm going to go for this ball here. That's the kind of 50 I'm talking about where it goes right to them, but it's a good play. See what they do with this. That's a tough 50. Yeah, that's really rough. That's a really good follow-up from him. Really good um, flip reset. Ended up getting a lot more height on it than I expected it uh, to, but let's see if I can go for a normal, just normal 50 here. I think he's going to get his boost taken in the back corner. See if I can get the back right. Down with one. Oh. Finds both of them. Good dunk. They're, they're very, very low here. Are you think they're going to jump? I can't really tell. They can't really follow it, though. That's very low. I don't really expect them to do much here because he's very low. And I don't. I, oh, I just gave him the boost for free. It's fine, though. There we go. That was a really good bump play. You see those all the time in 3v3. Not as much in 2v2 because it's a little bit of an overcommit, but you just go past the ball and just go for the player. And they don't expect that because the other player is like expecting the 50. So I'm, I'm easily able to go for a pretty clean shot. It wasn't the strongest, but it's so hard to react to either way. Pop this up. Put it behind PLV. Should be open, maybe? Might just roll right in. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. These guys aren't playing too bad, though. It's actually pretty, pretty solid rotation from these two. There's a couple big overcommits. So we can go for like a normal 50 again. I don't like to like change it up too much on kickoffs because in 2v2, like anything can happen and kickoffs can get really wild. I missed the the follow up to go top left there. Nice follow up to the side. Let's see if LJ gets another touch here. He does go for a bump. Close. Oh, that's pretty aggressive on that one. It's off. Maybe a big flick to the side, get a demo on this one. Maybe demo on him as well. Should be LJ to finish. Noise. Yeah, he, he was in an awkward spot. If he jumps there, he's in a really bad spot with his, his momentum, with the ball popping over him. So maybe I can go for a demo there pretty confidently. That should secure, like, at least... A good chance at the win here. You pop it off to the ceiling, but it still goes in the hands of him. And he's this guy was pretty good at flip resets. Yeah, I thought he was maybe gonna go for a high touch, but he just went for the bottom right. That's a great 50 off of LJ. Let's see what I can do here with the normal normal kickoff. They might do go for a fake. I'm just gonna play it a little bit safe by going for the side hit. We might lose possession off that, but it's better than. Getting scored on. That's two touches. Good catch from LJ. It's a great flick. Doesn't go in though. And now size heading down the field. Trying to go for a block. Nice. Good finish. I think I could have finished it myself too, but it's, you know, it's a goal is a goal. This delayed flick right here allows me to get over one, and then I went for the far dunk to try and keep the clear away from the left side. Ended up working out, and both players were super overcommitted, so we get a solid goal there. 18 seconds left. I think we got this. Especially with LJ just doing it. <laughs> He's twirling. I did went way late on that. Oh, my goodness. He's going to go for a demo. It's going to be impossible for him to deal with. Yeah, I, shouldn't have, I should not have went so late on that one. I could have either just waited or went super, super early. 
I had I had the beat on them. But I just get like in my head about that because it's 2v2 and it's like a huge overcommit for me to dive at the wall like that. It's over his head. LJ expected that. And there we go. Yeah, I fully expected that they were gonna go for some sort of kickoff place. That's why I went for the, the wide the wide cheat. But honestly, well played to these two. They they played pretty well. Oh, it looks like he's feeling uh not too good. Honestly, the uh, the land bug is going around, I believe. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, it's really fun to play with LJ. Super, super consistent. Um, yeah, I'm not feeling the best either, to be honest. But I'm back home. The uh, motivation is there from RLCS. Uh, I think I'm top 100 right now, which is super cool. So hopefully I can keep that going. And I, I really want to push for a high leaderboard this season. But I'm actually, I really hope they do a hard reset soon. Because I think it it's definitely needed. But until next time, have a great day, guys. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.